Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March the 14th of 2021 well, it is titled the flag shaped Aurora over Sweden. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of the Aurora and Aurora occurs when charged particles from the sun strike the Earth's magnetic field. And in this case, in March of 2015, six years ago, there was a very energetic eruption off the surface of the sun that we call a coronal mass ejection. And that came gave us a very intense storm that brought a lot of particles to Earth and when they funnel along the magnetic field, they strike where the magnetic field reaches the Earth's atmosphere. So where it strikes the atmosphere, then they excite the atoms there and cause them to glow. And you can see the shimmering curtain here across the sky and the different colors or different parts of the Aurora. The lower down areas are very green and that's the prominent Aurora that we often see, which is excited by oxygen atoms in the Earth's atmosphere. So that's oxygen atoms, not the molecules of oxygen, which are two atoms bound together that we breathe, but single oxygen atoms much higher up in the Earth's atmosphere. Even higher than that is the red portion of the aurora. So the green is the most common, then we see the red. However, the very rare one that we do see in this image is the purple glow at the top. And it is one of the things that scientists don't really know exactly where the purple comes from. It's thought that it might be a bluer color from much closer to the Earth, even lower altitude than the green, but then imposed over, superimposed with the red, giving it a distinct purple color. So that's one that we do not completely understand at this time. Now, we've now gone past solar minimum and solar activity is increasing. So we will get some more storms like this over the coming years and auroral activity will increase. We've been at solar minimum around the last couple of years and that has that minimizes the number of particles being ejected by the sun. It minimizes the number of solar flares and coronal mass ejections that throw material out into space. So we don't see as many aurora, although they are still visible, but we don't see near as many as we will see as we approach solar maximum in probably about five years or so from now. So over that time, the uh, number of storms will increase as will the frequency of intense aurora like the one we see here from 2015. So that was our picture of the day for March the 14th of 2021. It was titled a flag shaped Aurora over Sweden. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be meteor mountain. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.